Welcome to climbingalbris.com. In this video, I got a great little tip for you if you use the Petzl zigzag. So, <clears throat> when you use the Petzl zigzag, after you finish your climb, you're probably going to end up with placing your zigzag back near the spliced eye. Um, and if you do that, the next time you come to climb a tree, you'll throw your throw line up, come to hook on your throw line to your rope to pull it in, but then you need to do a lot of this pull a zigzag further down your line. So, a great simple little trick for you. Say, just make things really efficient. Take any little micro pulley and attach that to anything. You can attach it to a handle on your rope bag, a little, um, a little eye on your rope bag. It can attach it to the base anchor. Uh, it can attach it to anywhere above that you can get kind of directly above the rope bag really so i've just attached it to the handle because that's something that's always going to be there <clears throat> clip that onto the eye of your rope like you normally would just to install your rope start pulling and what that little micro pulley will do is just collapse the chain on the zigzag Take off the carabiner and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so the second great little tip for you I've got is is good for if you're using a zigzag or even if you're just wanting to feed your rope back in and you've been using a hitch and you have the micro pulley or triple attachment pulley or something. Um, so you finish your climb, ready to pull your rope out. Here I've got a base anchor. If you're not using base anchor for whatever reason, you're using a canopy tie, you climb double rope, then you can just find something to attach the rope to. Like, you know, you can use a little webbing sling or you can find a fence post or anything to attach carabiner to. Preferably kind of this kind of height or slightly above the height of your rope bag. So what I'm gonna do this time is attach that to my base anchor and then simply put, use it to, basically I'm just using the pulley to redirect so it's at a good kind of arm height and I can feed my rope back in my rope bag really easily. Now a lot of people you, like attach a pulley onto the bottom of their chin strap or chest harness, but I find this is the easiest way because you can get full pull, there's nothing yanking your helmet down, there's nothing attached to you and you can, and, and you can kind of feed it straight back in so. I'll show you what I mean. Just use the pulley, feed, feed, feed. It's down for it. Even when it comes down, it doesn't matter where it lands, you can still feed it in. And if you're using a zig, nice and neat and tidy, back in the rope bag. Thanks for watching this video by climbingalbus.com. Hopefully, that little tip will help you uh, improve efficiency this tiny amount, but also just make things just a little easier, smoother, impress your friends, your colleagues, all that kind of stuff. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, comment below, uh, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video.